In the four years that I've been on YouTube, I've never filmed a home goods video, which is crazy because I shop there a ton. Today, I'm spilling all of my best home goods tips and tricks. One of the best things about home goods is they have a lot of different accent furniture at pretty reasonable prices. So I was needing some end tables for my living room and I found this one. It was really pretty, also very trendy and not that pricey. It was under $50. I styled it in my living room next to my big gray chair. You can find accent tables, coffee tables, bookshelves, ottomans and stools, all at really affordable prices. Now I'm always looking for affordable organization finds. One of the things I've noticed is they have a lot of really pretty office organization at Home Goods. So if you're wanting something that's really pretty and put together, Home Goods is a great option. I always love going to the thrift stores for my accent decor, but sometimes you're looking for a specific piece to really finish off a space. Home Goods is great for that. They have really pretty little containers that you may not find just anywhere. You can also find cool decor, like I got this white knot. Those are always really cool to have in your space, but you can really find a variety of items at Home Goods, and I feel like they have so many different options to choose from, and most of the time, the prices are pretty good. So at the beginning of the video, I promised you my tips. So this is tip one. You wanna make sure you get to the store at the beginning of the day, if at all possible. That's when they have the new inventory out and you're gonna find the best selection of items. Hands down, the one thing that I always buy at Home Goods is their floor length mirrors. Now I ask you, please show me another place where I can find a more affordable floor length mirror. Anytime I need one for my house or when I needed one for the office, I went here. They're usually under $100 and they have the best selection. Now, if I can, I always try to get my lamps at the thrift store and paint them myself, but if I'm not able to find a matching set, I will typically come to Home Goods to find my lamps. You can find aisles and aisles of lamps that they have here. There's usually more trendy ones, but then they have traditional ones as well. This is a great option for finding a set of lamps. And if you're needing a floor length lamp, this is a great option. Now, when I was shopping for floor length lamps for a room, I found that a lot of stores didn't carry them. Home Goods actually carries them in store. So if you wanna be able to go there and see the lamp in person, you can do that versus having to look at a picture online. Tip two, you want to make sure you go to that clearance section to find all the best deals. Sometimes you'll find something in the clearance section that is damaged. Maybe you can just turn it to the back and wouldn't even notice it. But sometimes you'll find things in the clearance section that people return and they're not able to put out on the floor with their normal inventory that you can get for a great deal. Tip three, you guys, if you see something you like at Home Goods, make sure you pick it up that day because if you come back the next day, it's probably not gonna be there because they change out their inventory really frequently.
The next section you want to check out at Home Goods is their throw pillows. Now, a few years ago, I would only buy my throw pillows at Home Goods because you would go and you would see aisles and aisles of pillows. You could also find two that were the same color. Now I buy them some online. I also get some at Target, but it's still a great option if you're looking for pillows in a specific color. You can usually come here and find all different colors. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is home goods. They have the cutest pet beds here. Now I haven't gotten one for Moose yet. I really want to because they're just some of the most adorable pet beds. So if you're looking for a pet bed, this is a great option. They also have pet toys and little snacks that you can pick up for your pets. I love picking up the amber bottles at Home Goods and using those as like my refillable soap containers. I've done this in several areas around my house. They have some really pretty options and they're super affordable. And then you could just get regular soap from Walmart to refill them. So tip four, you wanna make sure that you check the bottom shelf. This is great at any store, but a lot of times this is where items are overlooked. So make sure you check that bottom shelf for all the good items. There's so many different containers you can find at Home Goods. I love a good plant container. You can definitely find these at Home Goods in a variety of colors. They're also usually very trendy. So there's two places that I like to buy sheets at. One is JCPenney because they have really great quality sheets. The other place is Home Goods because a lot of times Home Goods will get high-end brands and they're able to sell those sheets at an affordable price. If you can find a really nice set of sheets at Home Goods, that's a good place to pick it up. I found several over the years and this goes with all of their bedding that they have at Home Goods. So walk around, see what you can find. Now I will say they don't always have all all of the options and all the colors. So you kind of have to see if they have what you're looking for. If you guys like seeing some of my behind the scenes shopping trips, consider following me on my second channel, Lisbon with Daily, because I post vlogs and different shopping trips that I take. Wall art is something that can be really expensive. Now, you know on my channel, I show you different ways that you can create wall art through DIY, large wall art pieces. But if you're wanting to buy something, Home Goods is a good option. I feel like they have some of the better prices and they usually have a big selection of wall art pieces. Five, if you have the time, do more than one lap around the store because when you go to Home Goods, it's overwhelming. There's so much decor here, and I guarantee that second time around, you'll see stuff that you didn't see the first time. If you love buying seasonal decor, Home Goods usually has some affordable options to choose from. If you're not wanting to shop at the dollar stores, they have some fun seasonal pieces. A lot of times they'll have like seasonal pillows that you may not be able to find at the dollar store. So it may be worth checking out the seasonal section. Things that I really appreciate about Home Goods is you can actually come to the store and see all of the items. So many stores are now going to where you actually have to find something online, order it, and you don't really know what it's going to look like. And I really appreciate this when I'm searching for baskets. At Home Goods, I can come here, see if the basket's going to be big enough. I can also look at the quality of it before I purchase. So love having that option available. Found some really great marble and wood coasters over the years at Home Goods. So if you need some coasters, head to Home Goods. Tip six: you can also download the Home Goods app so you can see what items they have in store, and it can help you select items that you want to shop for the next time you go. 
Let me know down in the comments what I'm missing. What do you guys love shopping for at Home Goods? I would love to know your opinion. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed because I want to see you back here and I'll see you in our next one. Bye.